Hi, it's Sarah here with Valley City Barnes County Public Library with today's craft, which is going to be a Chinese New Year paper lantern. So before we start that, did you know that the Chinese New Year can also be called the Spring Festival and it is celebrated in China and there are 12 zodiac animals. Do you know what they are? The rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. This year for 2021, Chinese New Year is the year of the ox. I myself am a rooster. So what I have here is I printed on bright red paper, a cherry blossom template, and on what's going to be my inside, I printed on yellow to be the inside. And yellow and red are the main two colors that you'll see during the Chinese New Year festivities. Uh, if you want, I do have it on white paper. I also have a dragon that you can color or we can print on yellow or red paper. I do have a blank template also that you can draw whatever you want and make paper lantern that way. So what I will start doing is I'm gonna take my template, I'm going to fold it the long way in half. And on the paper, once you have it closer up to you, you will see lines and that's gonna be where you cut and you don't cut past the line. You just cut up to the line. Now on the end here, there's a section that's cut out as a tab and that you'll cut out. So we'll have a strip that takes out and then open it up and it'll look like this. And then the piece of paper next that you'll cut is going to be glued on the inside. And again, you just cut with the lines. So then before you go to glue, you're gonna wanna just see if you need to trim off any excess paper here. You might need to trim just, just a hair. Okay. So then with my glue stick, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some glue at the top of one of the long edges of the inside paper. And then on the other long edge, I'm not gonna glue the short edges. So then flip it over, do one edge at a time because you wanna line it up with one. because you're going to kind of bend this just so, because you're going to line up the edges on this also. I need to reapply. 
find my glue. So once you have it glued, it'll be kind of curved and look like a tent. And then next, just kind of press down a little on the glue so it sticks. See, mine's not sticking. And of course, if glue is not working, feel free to use double-sided tape. As I said earlier, if your glue stick isn't working, double-sided tape is an option, and that's what I'm gonna try. because then ideally you will then take it and start curling it. You see these tabs? You can either try to glue or again, double side to tape. I'm gonna try glue again. So then they should be glued just like so. And then with a hole punch, it doesn't matter if it's on the tab or any of the sides, punch a hole and then right across from it, punch another hole. Careful not to get too close. And then with a pipe cleaner, you will make a handle. And then you'll just twist it on each end. And just like that, you have a paper lantern. And again, I have the Dragon Cherry Blossom or a blank template. And we can print the template on red or yellow paper. And then we'll do the opposite color for the inside for you. And we'll give you a pipe cleaner to go with it. If you would like one of these, templates, please call at 845-3821. And also, we do have quite a few books by Chinese American authors, like Meng Jean, Kevin Kwan, Amy Tan, Chloe Gong, Jean Lun Yang, uh, and we have a 
lot of nonfiction also about China and the Chinese culture. And for those who are into manga, we do have the Fruits Basket series and that does incorporate the 12 Chinese Zodiac animals and it's quite funny. Uh, I've read it, I've watched the TV series. So I really hope that you come check out those authors and give us a like on Facebook and follow us on YouTube and Instagram. And I hope to see you later this week. Bye.